Hey Google, set an alarm for 35 minutes. There, your alarm set for 12.59 p.m. another beautiful autumn day I think this is the fourth or fifth day on the trot where we've had really dull starts to the day cold overcast um, and then you get to midday and the Sun comes out there were some fallers last night from the apple tree so I'm gonna grab these Got three of them four of them by the look of it oh, one in the sink hmm best not use that one compost heap we use these three. My sink area needs another clean. <laughs> Update on the chickens. They overnighted really well, but they have been fighting this morning. Uh, um, and it can be quite vicious, chickens fighting. The cockerel got involved and it was just all a bit, all a bit overwhelming for me this morning. So I have se segregated them again. Um, and then tonight again at dusk, I will put them in the same um, house again. Uh, the hedgehog um, sadly didn't make it through the night. Um, we've it's put a bit of a downer on the day, to be honest. He ate really well in the evening, um, and he or she um, had lots to drink. And then, unfortunately, there was just the smell of infection around him. Um, my plan was for today to take him to the New Forest Wildlife Park. Um, this is a, a park that's literally down the road from me where you can take injured animals, so animals that have been hit by cars or as in our hedgehog's case, he was um, hit by a strimming line at the allotments probably about a week ago. He could have been saved if someone had taken him straight to the vets. They didn't find him until yesterday when I went to pick the chickens up and one of the allotment here said, oh, we just found a hedgehog on my allotment. We went over to have a look. Um, it's sad, we did everything we could. Um, Archie's really upset about it. My plan is to um, still make a donation um, in the name of Hogwarts to the um, wildlife park. And then I will take you there and show you what they do. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, so I've got a carrot cake in the oven and I'm just about to do a apple crumble after I've made myself a cup of tea. Something I do a little bit different with my crumbles is I add um, in a tea bag, um, ripped out of the bag, and that's the lemon and ginger embrace. And the reason I do that is I add citrus notes to the crumble with um, orange and lemon juice and a bit of orange. Um, orange and lemon rind, uh, along with the cinnamon. It gives a really gorgeous flavor. It's a gorgeous drink as well. <laughs> no, I truly know it's autumn. The Noreens are coming up. Here we go. There's a Noreen. And they are hidden in there. I have to give them a bit more room with the mint in the mint. I have to give them more room in the mint. Coral rose. So now I've finished all the household chores and tasks. Um, the job is to get rid of some more of the ground elder in the borders, which I do not compost. It goes in with the gar the. Which I do not compost, it goes in with a household waste and it gets put out for refuse collection uh, once a week. So that way I don't risk spreading it around the rest of the garden.
there we have it the dreaded ground out uh, I dug through this bed not two weeks ago and it's already coming up so I'm just going to tackle that again now even bits like that will shoot it's just the most horrible horrible plant and you can hear the roots breaking oh No gloves <laughs> again today. I'm rubbish at this. And I'm in the best jeans. Well, this guy is going miles. Burying my phone. <laughs> I also feel like doing that. One of the good things about living here is reception on mobile phones is terrible. So you don't get bothered quite as much as you do in areas with a good mobile phone coverage. Oh, I'm a bit of China. Not very old. Right. I'm sure you guys don't watch don't want to watch me weeding for the rest of my before work time. So, oh, the face of it. <laughs> that one's blue. I just know that most of these are going to take root again but I keep thinking if I weaken the plant will I kill it yeah lots of worms you dig through where you've been already and you still 
find those blessed books. All in Here's the plant we want to keep. You know this one, because if you squeeze it, it's got a smell of burning and it's got a milky like fluid inside it. If you see any, shout, it's behind you. Edit that bit out. Then it's come out to play. Very new. Not good. Don't know if you get this in America, in Japan, in Canada, or in places like that. It's not an unattractive plant, but it's just the damage it does. It um, it stops the roots from your good plants from growing properly. It almost strangles them, and then you hear that snap, and you know you haven't got it all. So frustrating. If you like what you're seeing, press the like button, notification bell, and subscribe. Thank you. Nice big handful there. Um, that's the last of the tidying up. Let me show you what I've got out today so far. And like I said, this will be co not composted. Like I say, this won't be composted. This will go out with the household rubbish. That trug, that whole trug is all of the ground elder.